This is our solar system right here. You can see the planets going around the sun in nearly perfect circles. And if we zoom in closer, here's Earth, and we're going around the sun with the other planets. This is a heliocentric model, and it makes sense. But in the past, we used to think that Earth was the center. So this is the model if Earth was the center of our solar system. And you'll notice as they move, the planets move in really weird ways. Looks like Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are kind of dancing with each other up there. And if we zoom in closer to Earth, we can see the different planets move in really weird ways. Mercury and the sun are kind of spinning around. Mars is doing something funny. Let's look at Mercury by itself. So here's Mercury and the Earth. It's kind of spinning in this weird little circle. This would be really confusing to people in the past. They're trying to figure out what's going on. You can see it's going one direction and then it goes backwards relative to our vision. So in the night sky, it would move like this and then it would start moving the other direction and it move further this way, it wouldn't make any sense to them. Next, if we look at the sun, this actually makes sense. This goes in a nearly perfect circle. That's logical because if the earth roughly goes in a circle around the sun, then the sun would go roughly in a circle around the earth. Now, if we add mercury now, you'll notice what's happening is mercury is just going around the sun, essentially. And as the sun goes around the earth, mercury goes around the sun. So this orange circle represents the path of the sun around earth. And this red circle represents the path of mercury around the sun. And you can see, how closely that is approximating it. It's not exact because I'm not a rocket scientist and I did do these formulas by hand so you can tell I'm not perfect. If we get rid of the sun and just think of this as two circles, this looks like a circle going around a circle. That's called an epicycle and that is how ancient astronomers dealt with this weird behavior is they created epicycles. If we zoom out, the same thing is true for say Jupiter. So this orange circle is the inner circle and this red one is the epicycle for this orange one. So the center of this red circle is going around this orange circle and Jupiter moves very slowly but it's moving along that red circle and the center of this red circle is just rotating around this orange circle so this one's also an epicycle so using multiple epicycles was the way that ancient astronomers would explain this weird behavior that they saw from earth then one day someone came along and said wait a second if all of these are going in circles around the sun why don't we just put the sun in the middle and that is when they discovered that everything came together super clean. But they weren't able to say that for a really long time because you'd be a heretic if you said that the earth wasn't the center of the universe.